out there, we're going back to Tekka Spike's Epic Toy Line Commission with one more member of the Destructix, Sleuth Doggy Dog. And yes, he is, his name is a parody of the rapper uh, because he was conceived in the early 90s and that was all the rage back then. Uh, so let's drop down a little backstory about that origin, huh? The first time we saw Sleuth Doggy Dog in the comic, I'm just going to call him Sleuth Dog from now on. The first time we saw him in the comic was um, it, when he was uh, working alongside of um, Sir Kixalot, another rapper parody, um, as spies in Robotropolis. Uh, their job was to send coded message to Sonic and the Freedom Fighters disguised as ordinary graffiti. Um... Of course, apparently this job wasn't glamorous enough for Sleuth Dog, as he would betray the spy network to Dr. Robotnik and lead an attempted coup against the Freedom Fighters. He was defeated and arrested and sent to the Devil's Gulag prison. Um, by the way, that severed robot head down there? That's the roboticized remains of Fly Fly Freddy, another member of the spy network whom he betrayed got roboticized, and then the and then the Robian was destroyed by Knuckles. Meaning that, um, well, let, let's move on. Um, in prison, he hooked up with the Destructix, and was, um, and, you know, like the rest of the Destructix, was temporarily roboticized, but then de-roboticized by the BEM. Unfortunately for Fly Fly Freddy, since he was destroyed, you know, uh, th let it be said that the Sonic the Hedgehog comic wasn't shy about killing off minor side characters. Um, yeah, he would remain a member of the Destructix for a while. Uh, his superior tactical knowledge as his, as his tenure as a spy even got him as far as being its de facto leader for a while. Um, the last time we saw Sleuth Dog was when Fiona was trying to hire the Destructix for a case, but, um, they were in a bad way. This is during the Dominion arc, where Lightning Lynx had just gone back to, uh, to the, uh, the Ninja Clan, and, um... Drago had returned to the Eggman Empire to become a member of the Dark Egg Legion. So what was left of the Destructix under Sleuth Dog was really kind of in a bad way. So Sleuth Dog essentially just handed them over to Fiona to do with whatever she wanted, and then quietly retired. Um, he's one of the few members of this little crew here that had a completed story arc that um, didn't leave any dangling threads when Penders with his suit came in. So, uh... Kind of a quiet end for someone who's uh, such a significant betrayer of the cause. But that's, uh, that's the story of Sleuth Dog, so let's go ahead and make his toy. The base figure would be another Slug Terror character, uh, this time Eli, who is a lot thinner and lankier than Cord. Um, the figure can be dismantled about this far, just about everything except taking off the shoulders. Um... And the thing with this figure is that it is so tall and lanky that it just doesn't match. So what I had to do was shorten the legs to reduce the figure's stature and make it look more proportionally correct. Uh, this is accomplished simply by cutting off the boot and then a large portion of the thigh that was in between the boot and the knee. Uh, the result is a shorter leg that works more for the character's art style. I also sculpted down a little boot laces because, you know, boot laces. Modifications to the torso bit would mostly involve making the chest beefier and changing the style. You know, giving him that shirt with the two pockets, a belt buckle, some wrist uh, dealies. Um, I wish I could have done something for his arms, because uh, Eli has relatively skinny arms, while um, well, Sleuth Dog is a pretty beefy character with huge muscular arms. Unfortunately, anything I could have added to these arms would have done nothing except make it impossible for them to move because of the way the shoulders are set up. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, when the body is completed, it kind of does look like Sleuth Dog's body except for the, you know, skinnier arms. I still think it kind of works though. Um, you can probably just pretend that this is done, this is how Sleuth Dog would be drawn if the style if he wasn't conceived in the early 90s where highly muscled characters were in style, even in the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Seriously, look at almost any character that didn't get their origin from the cartoon show or the video games, and they pretty much look like anything out of a Marvel comic. Ah, kill it with fire! Yeah, so this is what Eli's head looks like when you take his hair off. It looks really creepy. 
but it is relatively small, so you don't have to cut anything off when uh, you sculpt on all the dog bits. Uh, yep, uh, you just gotta give him a long snout with those droopy dog lip thingies, uh, big old floppy ears, just a little bit of hair on top. Uh, this has always varied depending on which artist is John Sleuth Dog, but based on the reference pictures that Tekka Spike sent me, I figured he wanted one where there's no significant cheek tufts, and his head is mostly smooth except for a little bit of rough right there between his eyes. Um, so painted up, his head is, uh, well... It's a dog head. This this could just as easily be almost any dog character. Uh, it could be Scruff McGruff for all we know. So, when he is completed, we have, well, we have Sleuth Dog. Uh, he is uh, pretty big in the chest area, at least. Although his proportions kind of make him look like he'd feel more at home in Star Fox than Sonic the Hedgehog. Then again, like I said, given the era that he was conceived, that's pretty m common for the art style. Uh, so this has been Sleuth Doggy Dog, and, uh, that's another Destructix member down. That means there's only one member of the Destructix left, um, that's, uh, Drago the Wolf, or Drago, or however you're meant to pronounce it. Um, I'll get more into Drago's backstory when, you know, we get around to making the other Drago figure, Drago figure. I'll uncover my bases by saying it both ways. Uh, alright, so, um... Of course, even then I would be nowhere near finishing Tekka Spike's commission, so don't think that, oh, once the Destructics are done, he'll, we'll be done seeing Tekka Spike videos. Haha, <laughs> no.